Welcome, guys. It's another episode of the Neutral Corner. It's Danny Glover. It's Big Lex, and today we have a special guest, Henry Okoli. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys. It's another episode of the new. Say the name with, on, with, the, yeah, with, the, with the right tongue, you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. I, how you doing, brother? Thanks for joining us today. Appreciate Thanks for joining it, me and Dan today. Appreciate Pleasure you. to be here. Appreciate it. Yeah, happy New Year as well. Happy, happy New Year. Year. Yeah, this is our first show back in the New Year. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so, um, we'll get through, touch on a, a bit about your story and your journey, and then obviously we'll get into some current affairs and topics and stuff, you know, around okay. boxing and stuff and okay. chop it up. So yeah, first of all, as we know, you grew up in Hackney, you're mm-hmm. Lawrence Okoli's brother. Yeah. So I know most people would feel that because you're brothers, you'd have, you'd have the same sort of upbringing and your journey's the same. But tell us about how it was for you growing yeah. up in Hackney, because me and my brother, even though we lived in the same house, he would yeah. have a different story to how I would have about growing yeah. up. Mm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I hear it slightly. Do you know what it is? I was more on like, Football and stuff growing up. Mm. Lots of really athletic. Well, okay, I've seen you on the five side. I've seen you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So Lawrence weren't really on that. So, like, Lawrence had made his own little friendship group as well. So they mostly went to, like, my friends growing up. Obviously, Lawrence's as well, but my core friends was mm. people from my area. Okay. Yes. Where Lawrence's was people from school. Oh, gotcha. Because... You know, in the end, you're kicking ball, yeah, yeah. cage, hot lattice. Mm, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so that yeah, was sure. that was it. So there's times, I don't know what Lawrence has been on the whole day. Yeah. He don't know what I've been on the whole day. We're sharing the room. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, we just, like, but for, What's the um, age difference? One year. One year, was that uh, Yeah. Oh, it's, shit. It's like me and my brother, but it's like, it's, it sounded similar. That's what I'm he saying. He was in the yeah. same class at uni. Okay. Yeah, he was in the same class. He's one year, he's lit, he's one year seven months older, but one school year older. Oh, okay, you okay, get what I'm saying? okay. So okay. at times he's two years older, one, so oh, he's, got, yeah, he's, so he's, one, he's okay. one school year Okay, you were near, near enough twins. <laughs> yeah, so he's <laughs> kind of, very yeah. similar age. Very mm. sim- like he's one, yeah, he's one, school, he's one school year older. So okay. went to the same secondary yeah. school. We didn't go to the same primary school. Um, yeah, same secondary school. But again, I was a lot more into football mm. and like, also my closest friends also went to my school. They were oh, also my, yeah, oh, group as well. They were from different areas, but no football, like in Hackney, mm. everyone would go Mabley Green mm. or go to, do you know what I'm saying? Everyone goes to the same places. So mm-hmm. a lot of my, like, I'll say secondary school years was heavily based around football, shubs, like, you know, like mm. all things like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Mm. like yeah. down Stratford Rex, under mm. 18s, mm. like that type of stuff, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? So that was more what I was on. Lawrence was more with like what you'd call the Penny Boys. Okay. So that's like Lawrence's friendship group. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? From that school. Steven and... So he met Steph later. Yeah, later. Okay, okay, okay. But that would be like... Got you, got you. His management team now. Okay, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? A lot mm. of people you mm. see see with him now. Okay, got that you, was, got That's you, from that secondary you, school. Mm. So what part of Hackney are you actually from? You're from Central, Wick, mm. Clapton? Mm. So, so basically, literally on the border of Dawson and Stock Newton. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so literally on, on that. So Kingsland. Yeah, ran there, mm. literally. On the border of yeah, Dawson Stock Newton. Okay, okay. So High Road, go right, High Road, Stokey High Road, left Stokey High Road, mm. Dawson. Okay, okay. So okay. That, that's the yeah, that's that's it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, so then your brother got into boxing. Did you Join with him and start going with him. No, I thought, what's this guy on? Like, why do you have that? Why do you guys to a boxing gym? Okay, yeah, because so Lawrence's whole thing was, mm. you know, like battling weight, just mm. that the third. Yeah, he couldn't kick ball. Mm. That's what's peak. I'm his brother. I can't even pick him. Like, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. You're gonna have to. I can't even pick you. Or in the lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> so, like, I can't even pick you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so the football, and obviously, you know, like they'll mm. do like. 
tournaments and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you like, mean at the five? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know I'm saying bring your own team. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. I'm saying so Lawrence will come back, get a few minutes here, there. You know what I'm saying, but <laughs> so football went really that. Yeah, so obviously again it was a football thing because Lawrence mm-hmm. started. I think I was in year eleven. Mm-hmm. So he would have been first year sixth form. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what, like one of them age groups. So that's when he started going boxing or whatever. So initially it was to lose weight. Then he keeps going, he's lost weight. I'm like, right, what are you on now? Why are you still going boxing? You've lost weight. Yeah. He, he's like, no, I like it. Mm. Bro, one day man says, yeah, I'm having a fight in two weeks. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, he's like, I'm having a boxing fight in two weeks. Yeah. I'm like, rah. Mm. Cool. Obviously, bearing the man. He didn't show my mum or dad. I was just, that's, uh, you're, you're thinking yeah. what I was thinking. I was just coming from like an a African no, household, a Nigerian household. You know, there's a lot of uh, knocks to the head. I don't need to do boxing. Violent. Yeah, violent. violent. Bear in mind, so, Lawrence was also very smart. Yeah, okay. Academically, mm. mad smart. Okay, like, so I think that, in like, that's one to know your parents' um, yeah, 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 view on yeah, this situation. Yeah, Lawrence was very academic as well. So it's like, what boxing's not making sense. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And obviously you have to remember that like what they're seeing of boxers is mm-hmm. just violent. violence. Yeah, it, like not not really yeah, educated. No, no skill. They're thinking is yeah, <laughs> fucks. Yeah, fucks. <laughs> that's that's literally it, gangsters. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously, so Lawrence has had. So he says, "Cool, he's fighting." So he pulled up. Bear of us or pulled up. It was in Hoxton. Mm. But I said, "You're actually cold." That's the first time I've ever seen him fight. Mm. But I was like, and prior like, to that, so uh, did you go to any of his training sessions or anything? I went to one yeah. to go to the gym or whatever, yeah. but it was dead. So like, okay, I didn't okay. enjoy it. Like, obviously, you know, like mm. thinking what, it, like you know, you get in there, they're stuck you in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> skip shadow. Like yeah. it's all stuck. Yeah. Wax on, wax off. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And obviously, yeah. So I didn't really enjoy it. So I didn't go back. But then I went to watch Lawrence. I said, "You're actually cold. Mm. Like you're sick." Because obviously, I, obviously, I've seen him fight. Yeah, that's what one thing Lawrence can do. He's good scrap. Yeah, he's yeah. very comfortable with his hands. Like obviously, growing up here, it's one year age. Like obviously, I, I I grew into myself, mm. but there was a big size difference between us. Okay, oh, you get what I'm saying. So mm. even growing up, like the guys that he was fighting on the roads mm. used to rattle me because mm. they are. Older and bigger than him, okay. so imagine what that is to me. Because mm. the, the disparity on size between us was a so lot. W- would you say like Lawrence? Like so, basically, what you're saying, you had a mad growth spurt. And yeah, mad growth spurt. Okay, okay. Yeah, mad growth spurt. Like Lawrence was mad tall, big, everything. Okay, okay. At the time, so I always knew Lawrence could fight because mm. I've seen him fight in it. Like mm. do you know what I'm saying, and a lot of the guys he fought. You know, back in the day, it was a physical thing. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying. So, so obviously, you know what it is. You know, when you're talking to men, they're talking about fights. They're like, I banged him. He done this. Done yeah, that. he done that. Did it. But do you think they had they were fighting for like 25 yeah, minutes? Yeah, yeah. They, this is a 30 second fight. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the way they explain it, like so, and it's not only hands as well. So you yeah. need a bit of physical strength. So yeah, I can yeah, yeah. Like there was one, yeah. That there was two. So there was one where it's like this. So obviously. My area and his area were cool, mm-hmm. but we're not from the same area. Mm, good, yeah. So obviously he's come with bare man. So, mm. so it's allowed, if that made sense. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's allowed. So obviously everyone said, cool, they're going to have a one-on-one. Mm. Obviously in his area, he's that guy. He was that guy. Good, Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But obviously in my area, Lawrence, not like say, he went on the roads. Mm. But obviously, yeah, so that surprised a lot of people, the mm-hmm. outcome of that. Well, you know what I'm saying? Got so we got a lot of props. That mm-hmm. happened a few times with Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Like, because Lawrence just wouldn't back down from no one, which rattled me. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, this guy's, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is, like, yeah, no, I'm not having it type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not watching a no name brand. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think it's because he's actually. I've, I'm putting it down to he was oblivious. Because mm. he's not in the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, like, he's not in the end. So yeah. it's like, he just punch up him, punch up him. Punch. Do you get what I'm saying? And mm. it's like, in front of all their mandem, so they have to now go back to their area yeah, so and explain they, they just up. got punched up by this mm. random guy. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Those are pedal back team. Yeah. Man, not on the seat. <laughs> Like, you but know, they, like, on the front of the... Yeah. Did that, did that give you a bit more vim, though? Because like, I'll be honest, like, my brother was a bit of a madman. That used to give me a little chip yeah. on the shoulder when I used to walk through, you know what I mean? So, not that, not, do you know what it is? Because it's more just knowing when I'm with Lawrence, mm, calm, yeah, calm. Yeah. Like, it's, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Especially growing up. It don't matter where we are. Mm. It don't matter who's in front of us. Mm. I've never seen them back down mm. to know what, do you get what I'm saying? They don't mm. even, but again, I'm putting it down to he's definitely oblivious. Yeah, oblivious. Because <laughs> like, you're not really, like, you're, 
Like if you spent the whole day at the ends, yeah. and you're back at the ends. So you don't even know anything that's happened. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good though, because that means he's not getting mind games out Because exactly. you know, most men will go, oh, do you know who I am? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know who I am? No, 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 no. That's, 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 that's my man. Oh, that's like, that, that, and your heart just, yeah. just you think, yeah, you've already been psyched up. Bro, if yes. you're oblivious, yeah. if I go to, um, say, Liverpool, I don't know them brothers. Yeah, so this brother so could be the maddest shot down brother. But if we're in an alley yeah, and I don't know him, then it's just exactly it's it. just one on one, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then the respect <laughs> that they had for Lawrence after that is mental. Like they, good, Lawrence yeah. would have punched them up, and they're on this now allowing it's, it's blessed. Mm. After they've just been like the respect. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Get what I'm saying was was there straight away. Yeah, yeah, no. But like, yeah, Lawrence's right hand, um, Temba, so Mike, but it's exact same thing, mm. exact same thing. Like those two together. Where, like, because it's like, they just didn't care. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Because- Is that one of um, Lawrence's friends or? Yeah, it's okay. right hand. Okay. Yeah, it's like, they just didn't care. Have we seen him, is he still on the circuit now? Have we seen him around? Who? The, the friend you're talking about. Yeah, he's about, yeah, he's with Lawrence small time. Is it the one that looks a bit Brazilian? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, That him. guy, yeah. He's, he's smaller? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. him, he's got a right yeah. hand as well, yeah? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. What's his name, Big about? What's his Temba, name? Temba, Temba, Temba. Temba, yeah. Temba. <laughs> I, listen, yeah, I'll be real. Personally, I've never seen anyone with more knockouts than him. What? Because you have to remember, yeah, he's a white boy, mm. slim, but he's not like a robot. Like, you know, like, mm. he's not, he's a he's a middle-class white boy. Okay. He's bare <laughs> brothers, yeah? Mm. So we're going to raves, but he's one of them, man. No bachelor raves, but he's lifting up things. Mm. He's making oh, a that, scene. Okay, them skinny man power. Yeah, mm. so he's making a scene, yeah? Mm. No, R. Yeah. Nah, 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 he just really had to show people. Yeah, a lot of the time. But a lot of people go in there underestimating them. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, of course. So that would that's their issue, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. yeah, they'll just yeah. So yeah, so you probably went on to you know rep do the Olympics, yeah. come pro. But I see you on the bags. You know what you're doing. So you must I, have I, been I, I, doing yeah. something after. You're, no, you you look like a natural athlete. Training. So okay. obviously, so when Lawrence went with his first professional trainer, mm. Brian O'Shaughnessy. Yes, mm -hmm. Dudley's dad. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, him. I didn't even know that was his pops until I saw him in the gym. <laughs> First I see him was that Rihanna video. Oh, right. No, I know him from... Like, oh, yeah. He used to box, he used to okay. box at West Ham as a kid. Like, yeah, okay. see, and I heard he was a cold boxer. Mm. Serious, yeah. My first introduction to him was the Rihanna video where he's lips in her up. And her up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was like, then I found out it's Brian's son. I said, it's Brian's what? He's like, yeah, it's Brian's son. <laughs> but yeah, so um, that's when I started going to the gym. Mm -hmm. with Lawrence and doing boxing there because Brian was a different feel it was inclusive it was, do you know what I'm saying he had time for everyone in the gym or whatever mm -hmm. so yeah that's probably where I started and I actually started to like boxing through that mm -hmm. and follow it met Dan Aziz there Dan Aziz trained in the same gym Omar Sadiq mm -hmm. um, yeah, Steph yeah. spent time there but he didn't train out of that gym mm -hmm. Ooh, am I missing anyone? I think Sonny Edwards is the one who took Lawrence to that gym first oh, is, is this West Ham ABC yeah? no nah, Brian but I think Brian's probably branched out from there, but Brian was a pro trainer at these times. So. Okay, yeah, 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 he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, that was yeah. So that's when I started that like, proper getting into boxing and feeling it in in, in Brian's gym. Okay, yeah, so, Brian's up. Brian's so did you have a bug to like just do one bout or mm. something? There was a time, but then I, bro, I'll be real. I kind of know what goes into boxing. Mm. If I'm not gonna do that, you I'm not gonna cheat, get in the ring. You don't cheat the game. Yeah, like because bro, mm. like every weekend. So it's, it's, I, my lifestyle's not conducive of what it takes mm. to actually fight. Yeah, no, mm. you know what I'm saying? So if I'm, I'm not going to do that to myself. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? No, respect for that. That's yeah. good. It's respect the Warriors code. <laughs> yeah, trust me. So we'll get into some current affairs. So um, first of all, we'll talk about, um, yeah, so what's happening exactly with Lawrence at the moment? Because he's been out since the, Chris Billum Smith fight. Yeah. Which which in everyone's eyes was a shocking defeat. Shocking. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it was people, upset. yeah, it was upset. People yeah. didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Um 
What, what do you do? You put down, that down to anything, or just give it to the better man that day? Nah, a lot of things, man. I'll be real. And one of those things, I can't speak for Lawrence, but mm. one of those things was like, what are we like? So I that I was twenty twenty three, and Lawrence turned over twenty seventeen. So whatever the maths is, that's five years. Mm -hmm. You've never seen Lawrence lose at any level. Mm -hmm. So like, I, I've said this before. I don't know how it is for other siblings, okay. friends when they watch whoever fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know the feelings that they go through, but more time when Lawrence is fighting from round one, it's, I'm at ease. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. Because mm -hmm. it's been easy. It's not been easy, mm -hmm. but he's made it easy. He's mm -hmm. made it clockwork. Mm -hmm. He's not, not getting dropped. He's not having wars. Mm -hmm. he's, not, he's not leaving the, like... Mm -hmm. Close. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like, do you get what I'm saying? And then the narrative comes, Lawrence is the best cruiserweight mm -hmm. in the world. He can beat anyone. This, mm -hmm. that, the third. He's had bad performances. When I say bad performances, not fan friendly, mm -hmm. but yeah. still dominating performances. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for, for me, I don't actually care mm -hmm. if it's fan friendly. I just care. All right, cool. That was an easy fight. But obviously, so leading up to the Chris Billum fight, mm -hmm. I feel there was a lot of complacency everywhere. Because mm -hmm. let's have it right. No disrespect to Chris. He's bang average, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, he's done well to win the world title. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, mm -hmm. um, very bang average. But do you know what I mean? He won. He turned up. He won. He'd done what he had to do to win. So you can't take anything away from him. But the back of Lawrence's mind, no yeah. matter what Lawrence says, I've spoken to Lawrence. He's like, mm. no, I rate Chris. I know you don't. Mm. Like, would that would that be down to? Yeah. Because I know that they used to spar a lot, and I know mm -hmm. Lawrence used to dominate proceedings a lot, even stop him in sparring. I've heard. So would that would be? Do you think that's part of the reason? Why you um, underestimated him? I think knowing how their sparring goals went, the information Shane would have to okay. give to Lawrence mm. when sparring Chris, because Chris has got a fight coming up, etc. of course would have played a part in in all of it, in my opinion. As much that's what Lawrence will say, no, absolutely not. This, that, and the third, Chris won, this, that. Mm. If, you're, if you're like, you kind of... He knows what was happening in sparring. He knows how he felt. He knows how Chris felt. Again, as I said, he knows what Shane will say to him as Chris has a fight coming up mm -hmm. and how sparring's going mm -hmm. and all and all things like that. So I think so Lawrence had the fight in Manchester. I'm not sure how quick the turnover was, but it was mm -hmm. quite a quick turnover. Mm -hmm. So even things like that, quick turnover in Bournemouth as the world champion. Mm -hmm. Like behind the scenes, a lot of concessions were made on Lawrence's behalf. Because it was so, and that made at the time it was like, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. You know, when you just keep saying it doesn't matter because mm, you think you're just going to get the job. Yeah, right? that's how that's what I after the fact, though. Mm. It's easy to say after the fact, but after the fact, looked at like we was in the away change room. Mm. We gave him, like, as a world champion, mm. we gave him the home change room because mm -hmm. that was again, oh, whatever, change room doesn't matter, yeah. which it doesn't because mm. that had no bearing. But, but when away change room, everyone in that change room's lost. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So we're sharing the change that room energy. as well. Like we're sharing the change room. <laughs> that hasn't Lawrence hasn't shared the change room for I don't know how long. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So what like so this is me, like because I, I I was not in camp his camp was in America. Mm -hmm. And I was I was I, I went about, so I wasn't really involved. Yeah, mm -hmm. any communication, mm -hmm. full stop. So I think I just turned up in Bournemouth on fight week. Mm. So seeing a lot of things, whatever. But it, all of this stuff is little and inconsequential but I think it's part of the bigger picture of everyone took that out of the ball mm. and whatever Lawrence says I feel Lawrence took his out of the ball because it's only Chris mm. you know what I'm saying and then it's like myself the team everyone probably got lost in no cruise weight beats Lawrence because mm. we genuinely felt that way mm. like genuinely like just looking at all the cruise weights and whatever it was like on any day that Lawrence walks into the ring, none of them can beat him. Mm. Lawrence's worst day, best day. Mm. That's how that's how we felt. But obviously, Lawrence is human, and 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 it, and it showed on showed on nag because as I said, he's he wouldn't have such a quick turnover, rest for two weeks, mm. camp for five weeks. Was that after the David Light fight? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was like it wasn't it wasn't done how he would if he was going to fight. Braid this in the unification at the time when it was calling for him. 
Mm. It's facts. No matter what Lawrence says, facts. I know you want to do that. Yeah. Done it. The team wouldn't allow you to do it. Mm. And again, it's a living and learning thing because yeah. it's like you have to respect everyone the same. Mm. Yeah. That's my that's my assessment of it. Do you know what I mean? And in the fight, the ref, Lawrence doesn't help himself. Shane, that was a lot. Like there was a lot going on. Good. Bournemouth, um, Crowd. Bro, that was a hostile environment. <laughs> that was a hostile environment. <clears throat> like bear in mind, yeah. Lawrence hasn't been to a way fighter in his whole career, mm. and, he's, and he shouldn't have been still. But that was that man's coming out there dashing bear. Do you know what I mean? It was mm. crazy. I was like, raw. I can imagine. Yeah, I was like, raw. Like, obviously, like, this is the UK. Like, Lawrence should be able to fight anywhere in the, the UK. UK. Yeah. Like, what's <laughs> going on? Yeah, the, the beach boys. The yeah, surf, man. The like, surfer boys. Like, you know, dude. Yeah, like, I was like, what's going on? Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? Hostile environments. <laughs> loads of things, yeah. I was like, shh. Because obviously, from like, like, from the presser, Way in, it weren't bad. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't like so. You it just felt like another another fight. Yeah, yeah. But obviously walking around the stadium, everything calm. Then as soon as we're walking out the tunnel for the fight, <sighs> like, I was like, what the? Yeah, because by I then, then you got to remember, by then, their man have. Yeah, 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 all of that. All of that. <laughs> so they, they charge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, so they've they had a charge. charge. You know what I mean? Five um, pints in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dutch yeah. courage. Yeah, oh, mate. Yeah. So, One of them, oh, I've locked eyes with him. Dutch <laughs> beer. No, he's Dutch beer, bro. Oh, my, I was going to jump. Oh, mate, one of them violated. Like, right, bro, bear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, bears. You know you do the water tingle. Yeah, let me throw some screws, oh, but you man. know it's bear. That's yeah. why you know. Oh, yeah, you know like, oh. <laughs> it's really like O2 toilets. You know. Oh, <laughs> that's mad. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah. So yeah. Good, 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 so good. then afterwards, yeah. So then, what's exactly gone on? Because you know, it feels like Lawrence is being left out in the cold. We see Richard Yapol's got the Chris Billum Smith fight. Mm. Jai Pattaya's Defended against Jordan Thompson's Elisor, he's got the Bradis rematch. Yeah. So where does so that leave us? Since Lawrence left the division, it's gone in tatters. Like what? Listen to everything you're saying. It's like it's in tatters. What is? There's no order. It's it's all over the shop. Like mm. Jai Pattaya, you beat Bradis. That's that was the guy Lawrence was hunting for mm. for unification, hunting, begging Eddie, please get me. Because he saw it. Mm. Like what Jai done to he saw that. Mm. And don't get me wrong, Bradis was cold in his day. Yeah, like, no, top, fire, top. Fire, yeah. But Lawrence saw it and Lawrence wanted that. Jai done that and then what? You fight Jordan Thompson. No disrespect to Jordan Thompson, but he's a novice. Yeah, but he did, he did, he did offer other people fights. Uh, I, I don't know about that. But well, no, I, I, no, he was struggling to get a fight. Him. Is that what you mean? Yeah, people yeah. were turning down yeah, the fight. He was struggling to get a fight himself. So two, two to three opponents turned him down. But who would? This is what I'm saying. It's who? In, it was in tatters since yeah. Lawrence left. Because it's like you, you should not be fighting Jordan Thompson, and you should not be fighting Ellis Oro. The fact you have to relinquish your belt tells you you should not be fighting Ellis Oro. Mm. You get what I'm saying? No, I, I would, I would agree with that. Obviously, um, them two opponents. Well, I wouldn't say they're world level, but they you are know, not. You know, but they have not even shown but, to be British but level. They, are they ranked? No, Elizora no. wasn't. Elizor. That's, no. that's so why like, they had to relinquish. Yeah, so I understand exactly where you're coming from, but at the end of the day, Jordan could, was ranked. Yeah, Jordan like was ranked in IBF. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was so he but, he's eligible to eligible to fight anyone top fifteen. There's nothing wrong with what um, Jai Pattaya fighting them, mm. but it's like the fact that. All right, Jordan Thompson's last fight was Luke Watkins, mm. who Lawrence bots in his eighth fight for the Commonwealth title mm-hmm. yeah. in 2018 or 27, whenever that was. Mm-hmm. In Is Luke Watkins even still a full-time professional fighter? I don't know. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's who Jordan Thompson's last fight was. And then that's who um, Jaya Pattaya yeah. fights. And after that, he fights Ellis Zorro. Mm-hmm. And now he's got the Bravest rematch. No momentum in that division. You've got Chris, who just boxed... Um, that X so um, Mastanak, mm. yeah, and got his ass handed to him. Mm. Let's like he got his ass handed to him. He was he was on. The, this is what I'm saying. You see, every cruiserweight right now mm. should be begging for that Chris Billum fight because mm. anyone can become a world champion if they <laughs> oh fight Chris. Oh my lord, you're, you're disrespecting. <laughs> no, 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 okay, wait, okay, wait, wait. Not a disrespect. Because no, right, well, in my opinion, yeah, but Vidal mm. Riley, yeah, yeah, 
If Fedor Riley was 12 rounds conditioned, he beats Chris. In my, mm. If, mm. if he, but there's right, well, Okay, if you're talking about skills, Vidal's definitely got if, better skills. That's what I'm saying. If, 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 if you're talking about skills, he's definitely got better skills. Very than Chris licking his lips. Like, but, oh my gosh, I'm about to win the world title. Yeah, but there's more to boxing than skills. Skills, that's what I was about to that's say. That's why so. I said if he was 12 round conditioned. Yeah, but if buts and maybe. That's why I said there's a lot of ifs as well. Yeah, yeah so you can't yeah. disrespect. The and hard work because hard work beats talent when yeah. talent doesn't work, work hard. hard so, yeah, so you've got to give Chris 100%. his flowers. No, 100%. But let's have it and, right. And he looks the most beatable. And he's a, all okay, yeah, that's right. You're like, right let's, on let's, that. Let's, let's, not, sit here like, let's not sit here and pretend Chris is going to hold on to that. But like, who's he fighting next? Riappo? He's losing. So you got you got, you got Riappo winning that? Yeah, because Riappo's improved drastically as well. Yeah. Since their last fight, yeah, mm-hmm. Riappo has improved drastically. Yeah, that's I, I can't say Chris has improved. Chris is still the same Chris. Tough, gonna grip down, mm. and he's gonna be there all night. Nah, I think he's had a bit of improvement, Chris. I, I, yeah, I'd say I, he's improved. I think so. No, no, I'm not, I we're not saying he's a world beater. Like, I actually had him winning the well, record. He's a world beater. No, he's a world beater. Sorry, I, I, sorry, Chris. I, I, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I Chris. personally had him winning the record fight. Yeah. At the, when they fought, I, 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 I just about edged it to mm. to Chris. But since then, Rappel's he keeps and bounds. Yeah. And no. what is it? October Red says, oh, I need to go. The power's undeniable. Like, yeah. I need to do it in that. <laughs> like, power's yeah, undeniable. Like, tell like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, ready now. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, what the, we got? The power's you, undeniable. You got, you got my <laughs> paraphrasing. <laughs> paraphrasing. Hey, she the kills it. Midnight train, yeah. Oh, yeah, the midnight yeah. train. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, she, he's got she loves, her. She loves Richard, isn't Bro. it? Oh. She loves, like, you know, she does the interview, I was thinking, yeah. She loves you. She was looking up at the, the, the dark chocolate. She's one of, <laughs> bro, she's one of the first people yeah. live. Oh, like, yeah. I want real yeah, nah, to win. Nah, I, I want can tell. to win. I've heard her say I'm a couple like, of things to, um, to boxers, so I know she likes yeah, the, the like, dark like, chocolate. Oh, I'm like, bro, yeah. not even a, like, yeah. she's not doing all the disrespect. Yeah, 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 I was like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's why you just have to respect yeah, her. Because when you, and watch you can her, tell she's a real fan. Yeah, that's she's not fence sitting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not fence And you can tell by her energy, she's genuine. Yeah, yeah. Big up October. And you can tell. My sister. And you can tell, I, yeah, man. And that, oh, do you know what's mad? That would that was a fight. Yeah, so to Lawrence so it was meant to. If Lawrence beat Chris Billum, yeah, he would have fought Riappo next. He wouldn't yeah? have because Riappo wouldn't have t- took taken that fight. Let's uh, be serious. Uh, <laughs> 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 what about No, stop. No, what about Rap? I rate Riappo, mm. but what about his career? Tells you, yeah, up to up okay, until well, now. Let's see this. This well, this the street. cinemas showed otherwise. <laughs> Well, was the, the cinema a well, push and shove and Spencer Fearon's there. Yeah, wait, like, wait, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Let, this, what, what happened there, actually? Because, oh, and there, but... Okay, from what I've heard is that Lawrence was talking and he, he said something Riappo didn't like and Riappo turned into a credible Hulk. I don't know, is that what your brother... Your... So, something along those lines. Like, some, like Riappo, I think Riappo definitely initiated the mm. physical contact. Mm. That's what Lawrence said, like, because mm. obviously Lawrence... Like, Lawrence doesn't actually rate Riappo. Mm. I don't know why, but Lawrence doesn't actually rate him. Mm. So, as a fighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously, the, as October has said, Powers undeniable. Like, <laughs> I need to get active, but oh like, he knows that. <laughs> I've got to get the promise. Once I get that, but he's aware of that. Powers undeniable. Big up like, Ragga Tonic, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Big up Ragga. Yeah, he's aware of that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that um, that rap pool can whack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. just he's, so he's a fighter, so he, he sees certain things. He's more. He's, who do you think has got um, more power of the two? Or would you say it's equal? Or would you say I think rap pool throws power shots? Mm. If you watch Lawrence fight, Lawrence actually just has power at the end of his shots. Mm. Like Lawrence doesn't like throw big overhand rights, left mm. hooks, etc. Like body shots, too yeah. Much. Yeah, like React Paul's fig is power. Mm. Like le- like when he gets you back to get his ropes, unloading mm. with big power shots. Lawrence, if you look at Lawrence's stoppages, step back, right hand, or jab, right hand c- coming yeah. off it. It's not really loading mm. up. So it's, it's hard to say. What, what was that fight? I see um, uh, Lawrence make someone glitch like it was a computer yeah, game. His fight oh. before as well, like just wacky. Just got... Yeah, fight before. In yeah. Wembley yeah. Arena. In yeah. the, that was behind closed doors yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing, yeah, but yeah. they had a couple of people yeah, like Lin May, ZZ and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he made the man stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shaking. I said, yeah. Yeah, that's Lawrence when Lawrence was firing. Even when he won his world title, that's how you won a world title. Boxing clinic, then stoppage. Also, I know... Um, I'd say that the best trainer Lawrence has had so far is Shane McGuigan. But there was a next guy. Barry Robinson. 
the, the black American dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why did he leave him? Because he looked sick under him yeah, as well. Yeah, nah, yeah. G- so g- Gary's g- a maniac. G- yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I know he talks so a lot. Come on, let's do it. Barry's a maniac. Bear in mind that Barry lived with Lawrence, hasn't he? Because he's from the, from the UK. And at the US. Obviously at the time. Oh, UK, so okay, Lawrence, so was US. Lawrence, Lawrence, yeah, I think Lawrence is a British champion. Mm. But yeah, so it wasn't, so he was actually living with Lawrence, yeah. He's saying early morning wake ups. Bro, that's let's, a, go, let's go, yes. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's <laughs> go. Yes. Bro, he's one of the most unre- hard trainer, mm. but he's just one of the most unreasonable people you can meet. Okay. So it's like, when someone's just, you know them Americans, yeah, mm. he's regimented. All right, cool, I'll give an example, yeah. So, see the gym I go to, Lawrence was training there as well, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. But that's a, like a, so Muscle works gym. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not a boxing gym. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But they got the setup and whatever. Yeah, yeah it's upstairs. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. So they got the setup, yeah. yeah. See, so they got the setup, yeah. Whether it opens at eight o'clock. Um, Barry, Barry doesn't know. Barry's at 5 a.m. bright and early, blah, blah, blah. Message Lawrence. He's upstairs. Like, we're downstairs. Message <laughs> Lawrence, yeah. Then uh, Lawrence's like, oh, yeah, no, the gym opens at eight. Barry's like, cool. We'll be there for eight. Ten minutes later, messages. F the opposition. We're there. We're going to the park 5am. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like bro. Like, Did he serve or something? Back in yes. The oh, that's why. Mm. You get it? Like, mm. so every, bro, even, like, I watched him play a, a, a computer, a basketball game here yeah, on the finger. Yeah. I was just like, he set up the whole thing. You know FIFA? Yeah. Do the formation, do yeah, this. Yeah. He set everything up, yeah? Then he didn't play it. He just watched it. So imagine you doing everything and yeah. uh, watch the computer versus the computer. <laughs> he just wanted to know his tactics. Player manager. Do you get what? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that's what he's on. Like, so even in sparring, he's stopping the whole sparring. Lawrence, I told you to throw that shot. Throw that effing shot. Like, so it's like, it's proper. Mm. It's a bit too, because yeah, it's like... Yeah, no, I, like, I, like, I liked him, obviously. You know, yeah, you don't know he's a maniac. He's a maniac. Yeah, yeah, maybe he should have trained... Talk. Yeah, they still talk. He might, he might have to train someone like Jamel Heron, because then they're both from the same... Mm. Yeah. That's what he needs. Because yeah. like, bro, even with... Um, yeah. Even with Sugar, yeah, he's quite similar. Like, I feel like American trainers... Mm. Like, Shane's quite fluid. So Shane can adapt... Yes. To whatever's going on mm. with that fighter, okay. it's not regimented in. I said, do this, do this. It might be on, but obviously, Lawrence in the ring, and he might not feel. Mm. No, was yeah, it? Yeah. I am very Phil. Yeah, yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah. Might, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> he put, like, when he's saying that, he actually is yeah, doing he, what yeah, he feels. Yeah. Like Lawrence might be in the ring and not feel. You got to be able to read your fighter. Basically. Yeah, yeah, like he, he's not throwing the, that double jab right that you're mm. telling him to, or mm. he's not faking the jab front. What 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 what's yeah, next? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So Shane's quite good at reading, but I think it's a culture thing. Because mm. in America, it's like I'm the trainer, you do whatever. I, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but in America, it's like you, if you it's either you rise to it or you don't. Yeah, and yeah. if you don't, you're not like, built for it. And it's also attitude as well. Like mm. Ben Whitaker, he's got that source. That mm. you know what I'm saying? That's another person. Like I don't like how people talk about Ben Whitaker. When I go on Twitter and all of mm. these things, so he's saying like, "Well, he's mocking the game, what he's doing." Stuff it's just like, like that. Bro, how yeah. can a referee warn him yeah. for showboating? Yeah. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he wanted his moment. Mm. He wanted to say, "Yeah, I told him where to." Yeah, yeah. I told him <laughs> in the pub. You saw me. You yeah. saw me. I gave it to him. Damn, hundred. I know them refs. No, I know my, them no, refs. My work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, my work. Yeah. Not tonight, mate. <laughs> like, what are you telling him to do? Like, stop what you're doing. Go knock him out. Like, bro, that's none of your business. Yeah. Like, and that, that's the. This is what I'm saying. This is what mm. people don't realize. Yeah, refs and that they're normal people. They go to the pub. They do. They engage with things, mm. so they know what's going on. They know what the energy is, the atmosphere is outside. Lawrence has to hold. Oh, I'm gonna be onto him. Oh, Ben mm. America, he's so disrespectful. This mm. that, the third. Oh, no, I'm, you get what I'm saying. So, mm-hmm. so bro, I've just put ego to the side. And I watch Ben America in the Olympics. Mm-hmm. What he's doing now, he's done it in the Olympics. Let him get to where he needs to go and he'll still do the same thing. Like, mm. what, what do you want him to do? Change is who, it's who he is, isn't it? Like, yeah, very good got, boxer. That's um, what I'm saying. So very him. respectful, was actually, because mm. I met him last week. Cool guy. Him, a proper cool guy. Yeah. But I didn't think he was going to be like that. Too, Support so. him. You, you, yeah, you yeah, thought yeah. the arrogance was going to, like, come I in. I thought he was going to be, mm. yeah, so he was going to sort of rotate into his persona. Know, the most not. arrogant boxer I've ever met. Mm. Josh Kelly. <laughs> oh, I've never met Josh Kelly. Like, 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 I was just thinking, geezer. Like, <laughs> I've seen him fight, but I've never. I've, I've seen him fight yeah. in Newcastle when he fought um, the Mitch Trace brother. But, um, Troy, Troy Williams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was this was a while ago. This when it was with Matchroom, obviously. 
I just, I just, I just, I just saw that. Like, all right, all right, can you all right? You just, mm. But yeah, I don't know. Because you see most boxers that you meet, yeah? Even people that like I'm fans of, mm. they treat you properly. Mm. They do of you properly. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I, like, yeah, with Joe, I just find him a bit, you know what I mean? But that's neither here nor there. But yeah. with, with, with Ben Whitaker, I need to allow him and just support him, let mm. him rise. Because mm. it's like, I, I, like, he's not a massive destructive puncher. So that's not what you're going to get from him. So mm. you let him have his fun, whatever. Yeah, so he's when bringing he's, another aspect. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When he's in there with someone who's actually coming to win with ambition, you're going to see the best of him. Yes. But in the Olympics, he's hopping on one leg, dancing, yeah. taking a nick. This yeah. is Olympics, highest level of amateur boxing. Yeah. Yeah. And those refs are normally more on you for exactly. show voting than pro refs, to be fair. There you go. So also, I'd like you to explain to people, I heard you say one time, you're tired of people claiming wins that they haven't actually got. Yeah. Explain to the people yeah. what you mean by that. Stop giving people wins of next man's work. Please and thank you. If this person has not beat that fighter, but this fighter has beat that fighter, please don't give that... Uh, that's just long-winded. You're yeah. saying that triangle theory. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Like, like, I'm saying, this is an example I'm going to use. Dan Aziz and Joshua Blatsy are fighting. Mm. Yes. Whoever wins that fight, whoever loses that fight, has lost to the, the opponent. They have not lost to Anthony Yard. Because mm. that's what's next. Mm. That, like, like God, let, let, it's such a, because I like both of them, so mm. it's, so, it's so difficult, yeah? But the fight that everyone's always spoken about is Buatzi, Anthony Yard. Yard yeah. So let's say, for instance, Dan Aziz won, yeah? Mm-hmm. You can't rub out Buatzi and act like Anthony Yard versus Buatzi is not a good fight anymore. Mm. Yeah, and that doesn't mean automatically that Dan Aziz beats Craig Richards because there you, that's that's the point. That, yeah, so yeah. that's the point. Because okay, so boxing, I just, it infuriates yeah. me. Like, because why I say that is um, Joe Joyce lost to Zele Zang, Zang twice. Yeah. Now all of a sudden he's washed. He's done. Yeah, yeah. well, who the bell you say will beat him? Fabio Woodley. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah, no, I, like, I like Belly, but Belly, I don't know about that one. Now, some uh, of his takes are wild. Yeah. But it's not, it's not just that, because like, it's like boxing. And that's the thing that flush. This is why fights don't happen, because boxing fans jump on promoter narratives. Promoters are meant to say this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a fan, yeah, if you still want to watch AJ versus Deontay Wilder, mm, it's still I, a good fight. Yeah, I still want to watch that. It's still I, a good I, fight. I don't let, watch that yeah, don't let people... <laughs> Someone's getting knocked out. Yeah, exactly. There you go, because styles make fights. Don't let people, promoters, with their agendas, because promoters are clever and they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's still a hard fight and they're aware of that, but it's now a fight they can manipulate into. It's mm. not an important fight. Yeah, I, just I, lost. I, I don't know about Wardley beating Joyce, because... Based off what? Zile Zang, yeah. a massive Z- Zang's a, pro- Zang's a problem. That's what I'm saying. He's a, a massive, big problem. A massive Southpaw boxer puncher. Power. Man. Literally. Yeah, Chinese power. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so what? Now, because Zang done that, everyone can do that too. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. That's that's with boxing. They give people wins oh, that, that they haven't actually. What? Like, imagine but, you can but not you, get in the ring and win a fight. But you kind of did that though, because I saw you wrote, posted on your story is yesterday or today. You was like, oh, the winner and the loser of Joshua yeah. Blatty and Dan one and is one and two. Why, why does the loser become number two if the loser gets splattered? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Why not? So at your moment, you're saying in the uh, yeah. lightweight division they are one and two. Regardless, opinion. irrespective of what talking the... about in Britain, yeah, yeah in Britain, in Britain, in Britain, Britain. Britain. And, and for me, in Britain, the domestic scene is more interesting than the world scene because for me, no one domestically, in my opinion, is on the top two guys beat level. Okay, and as they might, like, I don't them, know, Blacksy might them two, there, are, but then it's, but it's, it's have it's they very, fought at world level? Them two, would you say? No, but they fought at the, the correct level. Mm. Which is like these, like, do you see dancing? Dancing is crazy. Southern area, English, British, Commonwealth, Commonwealth, European. European. Bro, fight after fight, he's in the, Mm. he's in a real 50 50 fight where it's every fight he was having on Dan's come up, it's split, Mm. split opinions. Mm -hmm. Who do you have? Mm -hmm. Who do you have? Oh, I'm with Sterling. Oh, I'm with, Mm, who's that guy that Dylan, Shaq and Pitters? Mm -hmm. Um, Who else did he fight? He fought his first one with Southern area was on Dylan White's undercard. Against some um, Southpaw, um, and he stopped and the it. White boy, yeah, wait, 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 it'll come back to me. Yeah, I thought it was um, but Tib- he was Tib- actually Tib- A-side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Tibbs culture. He was actually A side. Tyson for his cousin, mm. Jose Burton. Yeah. All of these fights, Dan's having real fights where people are splitting opinion. That's mm. that's the correct way to do it. And now he's having another fight. 
where that's going on. Mm. Obviously, but actually, more time has been the A side where it's like he's expected to win. But then mm. he had the richest fight, mm. which for me is the best win any light heavyweights had domestically. Mm. Yes, like no light heavyweights mm. got anyone on the level of Craig Richards mm. on their resume. That's true. And so for me, it's like everyone talks about Yard. They got Yard because he's doing really good things, mm. but. I don't see how Yard is above Buatsi or Dan Aziz based off his wins. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Credit to him for for fighting um, the turbulence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't, I feel like he lost and he made mm. a good account of himself, but he lost. And it's like, who's to say what happens if Buatsi fought the turbulence or Dan Aziz fought for Turbiev. Yeah. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Because it's like, I'm not saying they're going to win, mm. but they yeah, might. Got a good... Yeah, because. Yeah, I, like... I, don't, I don't think Dan's trying to see with Turbiev. The way he's just explaining them sparring stories. <laughs> yeah, no, listen. Yeah, when, you, when you take off about 14 ounces, <laughs> yeah, 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 six ounces, yeah, exactly, exactly. down to tens, that's all. Yeah, it gets yeah. a bit mad. I don't, yeah. want, I don't want that kind of damage on my brothers and on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but right now, but Turbiev, yeah, he's a monster still. He's, yeah. He's, yeah, he's not human. He's not human. And Bill, that's a good fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah. For me, I stand by that statement because mm-hmm. until I see Anthony Yard be win a 50 50 fight, because mm-hmm. you know what, it's 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 not easier, but it's different going into a fight where you don't know you're gonna win, yeah, everything's against you. Mm-hmm. Where it's like you dump, like you get clapped out for a loss, mm-hmm. yeah, everyone expected you to lose, you lost, but you lost better than everyone thought you was mm-hmm. gonna lose, mm-hmm. yeah, it's a different pressure, like the pressure Black is under. Yard's never been under that pressure in his whole career. Mm. The boxer for world title is a much bigger pressure, but it's a different type of pressure. Yes. Where Boatsy has to win. Mm. People are going to be looking at Boatsy funny if he doesn't win, but he's in a real tough fight mm. against yeah. someone who really is feels they're going to win. Yeah. And there's a population of people who think the other man's going to win. Yeah. Yard has to win one of those fights. So where do you put Callum Smith in this sequence then? It's tough, man, because I had I proper rate Callum Smith, yeah, and I had him number one based off of what he done at super middleweight. Mm-hmm. But at light heavyweight, mm. realistically, he hasn't done enough. So I had him number one, mm-hmm. just off super middleweight. So I, it's it's a weird one with Callum Smith. So after the um, he's lost to Better Beef. Yeah. He, he... Yeah, because yeah, he's been yeah. taking out what rank has he been taking out? Is he taking out the WBO rank? Is it WBO? Yeah, or, uh, yeah I believe yeah, it's the, yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's been, yeah. been taking out the world rank. Yeah, taking out the world rank. So yeah, that. so I, I had them high, but domestically, I'm saying Boatsy number one just because of the Craig Richards win. Um, but if you're going by his last fight, how would, how would you, Boatsy's last fight, what did you think of that? I didn't think I didn't really think much of it. Of it, yeah. It wasn't it wasn't mm. great. He looked like he, I don't know. To me, he looked like he was trying a lot in there. Yeah, it was cruise control. Yeah. Like, this is what I'm saying. Something. What mm. like people are gonna see? Boatsy's an animal. Mm. Like, I always say this. I did not know Boatsy went to Rio to watch Lawrence in the Olympics. Lawrence lost his second fight. We're turning up every day. It's party time, isn't it? We're in Brazil. Mm. We're watching it on. We're watching the Olympics on TV. Watching Boatsy fight. I said to Lawrence, "Right, who's that guy? Mm. Oh yeah, Boatsy stopped someone. Like." In the Olympics, he's getting stoppages. Mm. We all paid our money to go and watch Boatsy in the Olympics. Mm. He's a, he's an animal, and like people don't, he's not. That's not been brought out of him yet. Mm. When he gets his chin down and works, mm. like people have this idea of him that he's some boxer. No, he's a fighter. Mm. Like he's ready to go, and that's what people are going to see. That's why I, I I tip him. I don't know about him and Dan Aziz, but. If anyone domestically was to step up to the next level, mm. I'd give him the best shot. Okay. Yeah, personally. <coughs> yeah. So, fun, Joshua, on that subject, Joshua Boatsy and Lawrence, they both was with 258 management. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They both left 258 now. Yeah. Um, I've seen, they're bo- obviously, they're both with Boxer. I've seen yeah. recently in the headlines, there's been a lot of controversy with uh, regarding this guy called Mazar Majid. Okay. Was he ever involved with... Um, Lawrence to Cody because they said he was involved with Joshua Boatsy as management much. or something. What? With who is he? He's the guy, the one who's got done for cricket. Nah, nah. No, he said no, no. No, that scandal's on us. So I don't know. Don't nah, even associate yeah, us yeah, with that. Nah, nah, okay, nah, but nah. you brought up a good thing on the two five eight management. That was a shock to me when I saw 
um, Lawrence and Boatsy leave that situation. But what the streets are saying is their man don't only be paying up no percentages no more. So that's the reason they left. I don't know if that's true, I, but from your point of view, what would you say? I think but you can only speak on your brother, but you yeah. can't speak on yeah. Boatsy. I think it just got to a natural, like, what's the word called? It just got to a it's natural progression. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I don't know about the Waxy, mm. but with Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence was definitely happy with 258, but then it, it gets to a point where it's like, you, you want to kind of be in control of... Right? No, like, mm. your success okay. or not. And you, like... Imagine going to someone and someone telling you, nah, I don't really think that's a good idea. I think this is a better idea. And mm. it's like, they might be right, they might be wrong, but it's, but it's you kind of want full autonomy you want to make over decisions. what you're doing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, so it was nothing like, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a percentage thing because Lawrence mm. has still got a manager. Okay. Do you get okay. what I'm saying? Okay. But it's more like, it's more, let's have it right, it's 258 it's, and it's, it's the Anthony Joshua show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's all about Anthony Joshua. That yeah. is a primary, it's all about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, do you know what I mean? Piggybacking off of Andy Joshua, nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But then it gets to the stage where, you know, and I'm sure Blacksy felt the same. You want to step out of like, your shadow. Yeah, like, let me, do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm here, like, Lawrence, bear in mind, Lawrence won the world title, he's a world title. He's a world mm-hmm. champion. And it's like, he's, he's mm-hmm. still bought some AJ undercards. Mm-hmm. No, but he had the one where he headlined uh, at O2 when AJ and Idra Adesanya walked him out to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, that, that, that was popping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. popping. Yeah. That, yeah. Yo, that, yeah. Yeah. I said, yo. Well, exactly. So that's the trajectory Lawrence wanted to go on. Mm. Where it's like, uh, get me, uh, Adesanya, Lawrence Shout and Adesanya pull up. Like, little things. Mm. And you also have to remember, yeah, obviously, AJ's not, it's AJ's company, but he's not as, he's not no, involved, involved, like people like, thinking. Think yeah. So there's also a big culture clash mm. in, like, AJ's image is this. Mm. Yeah. Lawrence's image is dating a rapper, making a rap song. Mm writing a book, mm. buying grills, buying a bus down chain. Mm. Like, so he's more, he's more, he's saying like he's more, he's actual whole persona. It's different to what, yeah. mm. so it's like a lot of things. Like, imagine, it's not really, are you trying to say yeah. it's not relatable to the, to the, so the man, totally they didn't, they didn't understand what yeah, he's doing. Yeah, yeah, cool. And what he's doing was bringing them a lot of traction. Mm. Like him making a rap song, like, there was nothing crazy, he didn't say anything crazy. Mm. It was no. a fun, like, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, it's, yeah, it's it a vibes yeah. type of thing. But that was, hmm, what's that about? Yeah. The chain, mm, it's a bit. So basically they didn't like what you- They didn't understand. Yeah, okay. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, so so they didn't understand, yeah. The, the song brings in a different demographic of mm. interest into boxing. Mm. Of course I understand it because they've got AJ, mm. but it's, it's, they've got, it's, like, it's, it's different, man. It's like, because AJ is just loved by everyone, mm-hmm. but Lawrence's thing is, People are relating them and ra- relating to them and rating them like rah. Mm. You're, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You're a man them type mm. of thing. Yeah, I, I know and what you're saying. Wade. AJ is more um, commercially yes um, by the world. Yeah, platonic. Yeah. Whereas yeah. Uh, Lawrence is sort of more images geared towards a specific demographic, yes. demographic mm. of people, which is, which is his community. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is his community, but it's like. It's like they're not criminalizing them or demonizing them for it, but it's conversations I had like, oh, that's not really yeah. smart or just that. Because so, it's like, but it's like, he's yeah, not Andy Joshua. Yeah. He's not. Mm. He's like, Andy Joshua is what you see. You know what everyone says, the real AJ. That is the real AJ. What you look, what you see on camera. He's a very respectful guy. He's a cool guy. He's well spoken, mm. blah, blah, blah. He's only human. So we'll have his times where. He might okay. do something off key. Yeah, but, when he lost it. But yeah. He's upset. Yeah, yeah so bro, I've seen worse reactions. Man, them losing on FIFA. Yeah. Like, everyone's got that. Like, everyone is doing a whole deep dive into my man. Like, he's lost like, a man, plot. He's in yeah. the mental, the this, the that. Bro, people man are saying got, he needs to be... Lost. Yeah, people are going to be like, he needs to be in a sight board yeah, with, with padded walls and... Yeah. Like, bro... That, you know, like, it is when man you... Man lost. Yeah, no, and trust lost. me, them FIFA stuff is when you lose to your brethren. Come on, bro. You, you man are trying to shit. Man, man are telling man to leave your house. Yeah, man are slapping you and slapping the TV. Love it. Like, yeah. come on, that, and it's like, and it's what you play for money. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, you see, like that. I don't think certain things are not in the script. I'll be real. Mm. Even when Lawrence lost to Chris, that weren't in the script. Mm. Like certain things, like AJ's under, road to undisputed. That's the real thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even that little banana skin with Ruiz. Oh, 
banana to him because he ran it back. Yeah. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like certain things, and then the sack, bro, everything mm. just got the better of him. He's in Saudi, probably looking around. Mm. Like, what the? Yeah. Like, and then, like, <laughs> just, bro, he lost his head in it. Yeah. But um, I say all that to say, yeah, that was so. And with Blacks, it's the same thing because it's like Blacks, it's like when you're, where, where you, the stage that they're at, mm. it's all about like. A, a route for them specifically. Mm-hmm. That everything is about them. Mm-hmm. Like Lawrence's career, everything's about him. Blacksy's career, everything is about him. Mm-hmm. Their main focus is on Andy Joshua, who's bringing in tens of millions yeah. every time he fights. Mm. Like, bro, I was in Westfield, I saw a picture of him there, saw a picture of him there. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You walk down the road, yeah, there's yeah. a picture of him on a bus. Yeah. JD Sports. Bro, like, just, uh, uh, cra- the gym cra- group. It's crazy, because even like his L's didn't impact anything. Bro, how can it? It didn't impact nothing. How can it? He's a bigger, like mm. he's, like he is, yeah, David Beckham. Mm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. he is. You see how David Beckham transcended football? Mm-hmm. Modeling deals, aftershaves. Bro. That's AJ. When, I, when I knew AJ was a problem, a serious like I, I, he gave me his towel in the uh, the fight against um, what's his name? Uh, Jermaine Franklin. Is it Jermaine Franklin? Yeah. Yeah. That, and yeah. I was there with my woman, and one of her regions must have rang her up saying, "I'll bite off you for five bills." Just me gone. It's me. Take it, take it, take it, take it. We need that. <laughs> <laughs> you sold it five bills. Wow, uh, that's listen, mad. I'm telling you, listen, yeah, I, I remember I used to get weird DMs from strangers. <laughs> like, you get me, like about AJ. That's, that's like, what I knew AJ because yeah. I was looking mm. to frame it. So yeah, I said, "What am I doing with this towel, bro?" And then, <laughs> mad. So. As you said, the, you, you feel that the cruiserweight division is in shambles. It's in tatters, but we still man. got need, no, but we still got to one come month. and save the day, man. Like, yeah, but, gets a, let's be real. Let's let's be honest. I know what you're gonna say, mm. but what cruiserweight fights are you looking forward to? Like, what cruiserweight fights are you saying? No, nah. nah, the only for the culture, I want to see a Coley versus um, um Richard Riatfall. I want to see that, and I want to see Lawrence or Richard. Against Jaya Pattaya, but also, but I'm saying not no, right now, though. Fan. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, That's I'm a why, boxing, yes, I'm a boxing exactly. fanatic. So you nerd. understand, mm. you understand, loads of different ways that fight can play out. Yeah. Yes, and you're excited to see that. But the reality of it is, is like you have to really be in that space to care about that fight. Yeah. But so without Lawrence's name, there's no real fight. So yeah. like, even like Rap Paul Billum Smith. That mm. that fight was for a British title. That's a domestic mm. world. This is a domestic world title fight. They boxed before mm. for a vacant British title that Lawrence mm. relinquished. By mm. the way, mm. uh, but, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <nah>. <laughs> 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 but but saying that, there's one more champion, mm. Arsene Gulamarian. Mm-hmm. Is there any are you trying to get that fight? You know? No, Lawrence has been trapped. You see, when Lawrence turned professional, yeah, no, mm. so when Lawrence won the world title, like that's one of the main reasons why he left Matron because mm. it's like. No unifications. Bro, it's like he was begging. Mm. Like, literally, he he, he, he DM'd Maccabi. Mm. And he's like, well, that's not how you make unifications, mate. Like, it's just like, it's like, mm. see what the the perception before was, these guys are not unifying, not the cruiserweights, but these other divisions are not unifying because they're not on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then Lawrence quickly found out once he become world champion, that was oh, the case. it's, yeah, there's real politics. Because mm. you know, like, Lawrence just thought, why, like, bruv, I'm on it. I won the world title. Ray this next, this person next. Mm-hmm. Then he quickly learned, oh, yeah, none of that matters. Doesn't matter if you're on it or if he's on it. Mm, there's a whole politics, business that yeah. has to make sense for everyone. So, yeah, he, he won that Gullamarian fight. Mm-hmm. Ray this, Makabu. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean? guys like Nore, Mikhail, J- Mikhail Jan. Obviously, Zerda Ramirez has moved mm. up. Oh, Marcus yeah. Brown has moved up as well. So there's some mm. good fights out there. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying to Lawrence. My advice to Lawrence is go up to heavyweight. Mm. Just got like, Does well. he not? How's he? Obviously, the bridge away has come into place as so, well. Yeah, that's that could make sense as well. As well. Yeah, 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 but the, that's with WBA. So WBA yeah, and WBC. Yeah. yeah. So that's something he, he can go go into. And, um, that's why I said, I said, bro, because I'll be real. The only fight 
See the Chris Bell and rematch, yeah? Mm. That was a case of some idiot snatch your chain, go get your chain back. Mm. But other than that, it's like this. <laughs> That's what it is. We're being honest. That's what it is. Like, what go get your chain back. Sucker, 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 yeah. sucker snatched it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, go get your chain back. That's what it is. <laughs> Omar like, from the wire. That's what it is. It's like, like you get to the chain, you go, go get your chain back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we see you on this block, go yeah. get it back. <laughs> so I'm not spin the block. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. Come on. But outside of that, that's, there's nothing in that. The only fight I would say, Lauren, if I was to have a conversation, like mm. a fight, rap or fight, because that's a big fight. East mm. London, South London. Mm. All of this, it's there. Mm. Mm. And it's there. a story. Because I see even Boxer reloading the dryer with the video clip. Exactly. Every bro, it's, it's, mm. a bit, it's a massive fight. Yeah. Like, that is a massive fight. Other than that, I'll say to, I'll say to Lawrence, heavyweight, mm. that's where it's yeah, at. Yeah, because the last time I saw, the last sighting of Lawrence, I saw he was in the ring. I think it was Joseph Parker. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dreaming. Yeah, yeah, in Dubai. So did Parker go over there for some sparring? For, Remember like, the fights in Saudi? Saudi, yeah. yeah. So I thought he, that's what I was so, thinking. So, yeah, so, yeah, Lawrence, so, yeah, so oh, Lawrence, was, right. Lawrence was doing some work with him for a while, obviously, because, yeah. Yeah, that kind of build. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he looked like a heavyweight as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked yeah, like yeah. a super heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah is that a yeah. thing like... Um, yeah, the mid a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's then eating, eating good. Bro, I smack you, I said. He's at the end of Chevy Day eating swallow. Too much love. Too much what is that? Any shot there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there's yeah, an yeah, shot there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy on the on the solo, like. I, but I said, I said, how'd it go? He said, yeah, it was good. Mm. It was good work. I said, how'd you? Feel? It was good work. So he he felt, but obviously, what, um, Parker's not a big heavyweight, so it's not mm. really, yeah, it's not really yeah. a person to tell. Parker is not big up here, but his legs are yeah. are mm. very um, he's got big fires and. Yeah. He's, but I'm he's saying, solid. yeah, I'm saying. I forget cruise way. There's nothing there. Mm. Like, well, but, but obviously, I don't know. Maybe if he if he goes to the heavyweight, is he how do you, how do you navigate? If he was his manager, what would you? He's the first fight in. See for me, yeah. Even Lawrence spots a few fights at heavyweight at amateur, super mm-hmm. heavy. When I've seen the spar heavyweights, mm-hmm. I'm saying, bro, you should like. I don't know why you don't box heavyweight. Heavyweights light work for him. Mm-hmm. Like as weird as it is. Cruiserweight's more, not more difficult, but they pose both pose different problems. Mm. But the best Lawrence looks in terms of how sharp he is, his mm. movement, his boxing, mm. his all of that stuff is when he's sparring heavyweights because he hits just as hard as them, harder, but he's sharper. Mm. What does he weigh roughly when he's uh, like yeah? If, if so, if, uh, heavyweight, you mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, what, what's a what's a standard heavyweight weight? I don't even no, know. No, there is no. They could weigh anything. Yeah. No, what's, I'll, what's say, I'll say two forty. Cruiserweight's like ninety. I say two forty. Oh, no, I don't do pounds. Heavyweight. I do. Kilos. No, but they can't be a standard weight. They weigh different. That's what I'm saying. They yeah, because I think cruiserweight <laughs> is ninety one kg or ninety point mm. eight kilograms. Mm-hmm. So I think Lawrence comes down like Lawrence will drop like like right now. Lawrence mm. is probably gonna have to drop like twelve kilograms mm. to get down. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's gonna but. The more time he stays in the nineties. Well, I saw he did well. Well, it was, it was only a clip when he was sparring Dillian White, mm. which got yeah. a, a bit of controversy. Some days, bro, do you say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just slapping up your favorite everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, still, but um, yeah, no, um, yeah, I would, I would love to see Lance a heavyweight man, but I just, I want him to just for the because everybody look that fight against. Richard Riappo, your, that's, your, your girl from the local yeah, that's hair only shop to the, in, in that's North Road that's to, your, fight that to, your, to your guy sense. in the corner on, on Hackney Wick, everyone take wants it, to man. see that fight. Well, take. I've spoke to him. That's not, I've spoke to Richard about yeah, it. Man, it is, yeah, that's what I, I, yeah, I, that's, well, I'm just saying what I've heard. Isn't it? I spoke to Richard. He wants the fight. The fight was offered while mm. Lawrence is a world champion. Like, I don't know why he's lying. Like, I saw mm. a clip of him in October. I don't know why he's lying. Yeah, yeah. No, that is, what time was that? When, um and then, how did he, was that when he was with Boxer? Were they both Yeah, in boxer? they were both with Boxer. Cool. Lawrence was the only world champion with mm. Boxer at mm-hmm. that time. At that time, yeah. Yeah. And Lawrence what didn't really want to fight Chris. Mm. Not like for any... Because remember... Because stable mates, they used to so train that, to And there's no yeah. need. Mm. Like, Lawrence Holker, he's never visioned Chris as a, a potential opponent. Mm. So mm. Lawrence is like... Lawrence signed with Boxer with a with a plan. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? To so, go for Richard. Yeah, because... So, so, so the, the fight was... because. Yeah. Boxer also had to deliver Richard mm. a world title fight. Oh, yeah, so that's what I was going to say. And they didn't sign Jai. They tried to, but they yeah. couldn't sign him. Yeah, Tasman and, went with Eddie done a little yeah, truck, exactly. truck there. There you, you go. Because yeah, yeah, Eddie's yeah, funny because yeah. I, see, I see a comment on Richard's um, <laughs> um, 
one of his pictures. Like, what happened? He's like, what happened? What, what, you didn't, they didn't get you the. Yeah, <laughs> I said, no, no, Eddie, no, no, no. <laughs> I said, yeah. Eddie, you're just the cheek. He yeah, got uh, Ben's just getting it. He's just getting his pants pulled down left, right, mm. and centre, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but I wish everyone. I think it's the energy they came in the game with. It was like to they. I think they thought they were gonna because they had the Sky Sports. Maybe they're gonna steamroll stuff. They thought a lot of people are gonna come I, over. I, I won't say too much, but mm. they just and they think they're giving up too much dough as well. They're not even giving up dough. Like the, the way the, Eddie talks, yeah, because mm. Ed, Eddie's lying. Mm. Yeah, like he said that Lawrence was contract was the face of Sky Sports. Mm. Let's be serious, bro. No <laughs> boxer other than AJ can be the face of Sky Sports. Yeah, that's true, yeah. No fighter, mm. bro. Sky Sports with yeah, but Mbappe they, with yeah. Like, come on. Like yeah, name, no, like but, how can a boxer really? He's be probably the face? he's just probably taking the piss of that comment, man. No, he, it's yeah. like Eddie mm. tells a lot of lies mm. that sound good, mm. so people then say, "Oh yeah, Lawrence is this, Lawrence is that." When they first launched, they had a list of boxers that sound um, they signed outside the gate. I think Christian Shields is on that list as well. Mm. I remember uh, Richard Riat was on that list. They had like yeah, 15... and, and part of that part of Richard's contract was a, a world title fight. Mm. And they had Lawrence, and Lawrence was like, yeah, I'll fight Richard. It's because it's a good fight, it's a big mm, fight. Mm. And Lawrence truly believed they'll win. Mm. But get bro, Richard, trust me, I don't know, Richard's a model, isn't it? So, mm. like, you get that. <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome. He has got, yeah. No, yeah. Like, I, was, I see him in the runway, so. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, like, Madonna. Maybe that's where his priority is. Yeah, yeah, yeah Madonna really, as well, you know. Because it's like, like Lawrence, was, Lawrence was genuinely confused. Because like, it's like, don't, I don't, don't get twisted. I don't think Richard, mm. he knows the dangers mm. of fighting Lawrence, but mm. I think it's, but it's like, why would you not? Like mm. is that you have you're not mandatory because yeah. what my for my understanding I thought he was this was the ideal yeah. situation in my I would have loved this if he got a world title and they'd done a unification so, I thought that was the trajectory they I were going that at. was I think that was but, I I genuinely do feel like all banter aside all jokes aside mm. I do feel that's what Richard wanted why yeah. Richard didn't fight Lawrence mm. I don't think Richard was I think Richard wanted to come there on so a 50-50 and then you know yeah. both make good money yeah, yeah. so I think I didn't think lose, Richard I didn't think Richard liked the idea of A and B side mm. so like, what's happened with this rematch clause because so with the rematch clause yeah it was an immediate rematch clause but um, Chris's you know, that's what I'm saying like, it, bro, the, the fight with Max Masterman no, it was a media rematch because of Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah. But so I think that fight happened in like May, mm-hmm. March or May, or whatever. So it was meant to be an immediate rematch because, because bearing in mind, yeah, that was a voluntary um, defense. Defense, yeah. yeah. So there's obviously mandatory. Mm-hmm. There's a lot in it, and boxer only had one more champion. Mm. So that's a media rematch. But that's what I'm saying. And he's like, bro, if someone jabs Chris's eye, it's opening up. Mm. He had a ma- he had to get mad stitch like. He could have retired. Like he, he had to get mad stitches, yeah. So mm-hmm. it took a very long time to heal. It's gonna open up. His next fight, it will open up. You see, I think it even opened up against Masanak. So Chris was recovering, mm-hmm. yeah. So he's recovering, and his recovery took so long. Okay. Obviously, Lawrence has just had a had a had a son in it. Okay. Oh, so, congrats, Lawrence. Right? Yeah, congrats, thank, thank you. So his missus is heavily pregnant okay. at the time, mm. and Chris is ready. Mm. Obviously, Lawrence is like. Like eight months later, like, do you know what I'm mm. saying? It's like, bro, I'm having a son, like, mm. we're going to go to America and do a camp. Yeah. Like, whilst my missus is. Bear in mind, they all. Li- none of them are from Dubai. Right, as well, yeah. So, so his Dubai, missus yeah. is from a whole different country. Mm. Right? It's like, so they're literally just there yeah, in their yeah. own little community. Yeah, mm. There's no one else to, like, look up. Do you know what I'm saying? She's mm-hmm. heavily pregnant. Mm-hmm. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to have to wait for the birth of the last. It's the yeah. first. It's, Which is natural. You know what I'm saying? So it's the first child in your in, generation. Yeah, exactly. So it's a big deal. Yeah. Massive deal. Yeah. Massive deal. Your parents, so like, exactly. Yeah, your so you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So pressure, now the pressure's yeah. on me, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uncle, when are you having, Uncle. When are you having <laughs> baby? Uncle. 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 It's got a lot of stuff that he's setting up there. Okay. So it was just a bit like... It's just like Wrong timing, basically. Yeah, like the fight yeah. happened in May. Like, cool. Two, take two months off. Mm. So a, what was Lawrence's... Um, how? When did he think the rematch should have taken place? Or when was he told it was going to take place? Or August, September. Oh, okay, okay, you okay. Know what I'm and then when oh, the Chris yeah. fight in December, innit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that wasn't... wasn't yeah, that wasn't possible. So then... Chris fought Masanak, but Riappel, was Riappel mandatory? No, no not that. Riappel had his IB, sorry, go on. 
he, he, I don't know if he was mandatory, but remember he fought that same yeah. month on in that Birmingham show. Yeah, yeah, Tyler yeah, Denny yeah. and Adam Azim won yeah, their yeah, European yeah. straps. So, so the issue is Lawrence losing disorganized a lot because mm. cool, Lawrence had a rematch clause, but th- th- there's a it's not like a time limit on the mm. rematch clause, but the division has to go on. Go on yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So Chris fought Masanak, and then it's like. All right, Lawrence, were you on type of thing? Mm. Like, you're going to fight Chris. All right, cool. What's the dates? Do you know what I'm saying? So it's just, there's a lot. So it's like, whenever Lawrence wants, he'll fight mm. for the belt. Okay. Oh, so he's basically, he's inked in. He's, 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 got the yeah. money. he's got the money in the bank. Yeah, basically, yeah. That's, that's the truth. So it's like, he'll fight for the belt whenever he mm. wants, isn't it? Okay. But then it's, yeah. it's now a case of, if Chris has still got the belt, mm. It like it, it just has to really it's like got you, got you, where got he's you. motivated because obviously he's like he's at a place now where it's like it just has to make sense coming mm. back down to cruiserweight. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. All right, let's go into the panorama. Right, hit that bell. <laughs> Red corner, blue corner, blue corner. <laughs> Left hook or straight right? Left hook. Everlast or fly? Fly. Cleo Reyes or Grants? Grants. Rival or winning? Rival. Paffin Sports or RDX? RDX. Leon or Venom? Venom. For Butcher, Nike or Adidas? Boots. Mm. Uh, Adidas. Uh, Everlast or Lonsdale? For what? Boots. Oh, uh, uh, Everlast. Uh, York Hall or Wembley AO Arena? York Hall. Wembley Stadium or O2 Arena? O2. Tupac or Biggie? Biggie or Dave. Biggie. <laughs> Nas or Jay-Z? Nas. Jay-Z. Nas. Ali or Tyson? Tyson. Jack Johnson or Joe Lewis? Joe Lewis. Ray Robinson or Ray Leonard? Ray Leonard. Michael Buffer or Jimmy Lennon Jr.? Michael Buffer. Uh, Jimmy Lennon, Jimmy Lennon. Mills Lane or Steve Willis? St- I don't know. You know the guy Steve that Willis opens the eyes? The referee that opens his eyes? And you, you've seen he's him, like, man, trust me. And he's laughing. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, laughing yeah. at him. He's laughing at him. Yeah, that one, that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, Baterbiev or Bivol? Baterbiev. Tim Tezu or Virgil Ortiz? Um, Tim Tezu. Canelo or David Benavidez? Canelo. Devin Haney or Tiafimo Lopez? Tiafimo. Wow, okay. Shakur Stevenson or Tank Davis? <sighs> I was actually talking about this on my way here. Yeah. My other group chat. I don't see anyone being Shakur, man. Mm. You're you not even tank. I, I, that's, I, that, I think that's the only. Mm. Well, it's one through five, isn't it? It's I, think, them two I, left. Think, I think only one of those two beat each other. Mm. Yeah, it's them two left. But no, what about Loma? Look, no one talks about Loma. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. nah, nah not now. Mm. He's a few years. Yeah, couple, yeah, literally. Yeah. No, but he can still, he, he can still he fight. Can mix, yeah, but course, he won't beat them. Of course, yeah, of course. Not my opinion. He won't beat them. Nah. He's mm-hmm. lost. He's, he's lost a bit. He's lost a bit. He's lost a couple steps. Yeah, yeah. man. He's lost Age, a bit. innit? Yeah. Uh, Chris Billis Smith react poor two. React poor. Jaya Pattaya or Brady's two. Is uh, that going Jaya. on? Is that going on? Yeah, I think yeah. that's on. Uh, that's on the uh, Fury. Oh yeah, Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah uh, Jaya. Right. Fury or Usyk. I feel very feel. Joshua Boatsi or Dan Aziz. I'll say that. Can't call it. I'll Can't go, call it. Draw. I'm going draw. Yeah? Yeah. Right. I'm going Dan Aziz. Okay. You're going Dan Aziz? Yeah. You got I don't know, man. I, I'm actually being serious because if it's if if you're going by the Boatsy that turned up last fight, I'm going Dan Aziz. But if you're coming by the Boatsy that turned up Craig Richards fight, I'm going Boatsy. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, Alicia Baumgardner or Delphine Pursun? Alicia Baumgardner. Mm-hmm. Shadesha Green or Savannah Marshall? Savannah. Oh, sure. uh, I mean, one sec. Alicia is moving crazy these days, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> knows, <laughs> she knows she's tapping. She yeah, knows she's tapping. Yeah, she's looking. No, no, no. But, hey, no, 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 no. But you seen the beef she's with um, Clarissa? Yeah. Did you see Clarissa's new shots, though? No. Yeah. But she yeah. ended up my WCW, you know? Yeah. WCW. Yeah. I'm not talking about no Diamond Dallas Page. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Nah, she was, nah, she was looking mad. Yeah. Clarissa was looking serious. Both yeah. of them looking serious. Yeah. yeah. Both of them looking serious. Yeah, so they're, 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 yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> so speaking on that, uh, dark skin or light skin? Black. 
I like that. Um, what's it? Slim line or curvy thick? Curvy thick. Mm-hmm. Right. BMW or Mercedes? Mac. Audi or Lexus? Audi. Rolls Royce or Bentley? Rolls. Natural Rolls. or surgery? Natural. Come on. See that, ladies? <laughs> uh, garage yeah, or house Eddie, music? Eddie says that. House. Uh, drum and bass or jungle? Jungle. R and B or hip hop? Hip hop. Dance hall Afrobeats. Afrobeats. Mm-hmm. But they got the dance hall. <laughs> I know you're no, back, back, yeah. back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day, was you from Kingston downtown? No, it's always been mad. No, but was you admitting it though? Bro, no, but no, but like, no, back no, in the day, no, in the shubs, but you gotta remember a, that's all we heard. You're going that, to the shubs, you that's, that's it. You're getting your wine, you're getting it, bro. Sweatshop. When we when we did come through, we came through. Different, but yeah, man, I was gonna have to big up dance hall. All right. Gave me some memorable nights. You know what I'm saying? Trust Lights me. off. Mm. <laughs> uh, curry goat or Asun? Curry goat. Mm. Beef patty or meat pie? Look, nah, you need to scrap that question. That's You're not letting out... That's what, what, you say, what, you say, rig, yeah. what are you saying? That's that a rigged is, question? Yeah. <laughs> of course that's a rigged question. Because <laughs> it's not even really meat pie. It's yeah. just pie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you need to give me another one yeah, then. Give, gonna, me, gonna, give me another one. Like, give me something because that's that's all I'm thinking of. I've had both, but if you can I give me a better one, like, the stinginess of the meat. You yeah, gotta exactly. take two bites of yeah. pastry before you even. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'll go. With, I'll go with the pack. Tilapia or croaker? Tilapia. I'm mm. a croaker man still. Mm. Um, Egusi or obono? Egusi. Mm. Eba or pounded jam? Pounded jam. Eba's last resort. Yeah, like, <laughs> bro, last resort, like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so oh my god! Uh, da, 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 Where are we going? Where are we going? Rum or brandy? Brandy. Whiskey or vodka? Vodka. Evian or Volvic? Volvic. Fiji or Vos? Fiji. Uh, da, 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 da. Enish or 805? I've been 805 once, you know, and I, yeah, 805. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, is yeah. serious. Been there once, no, 805 is serious. Yeah, I've been there serious. once, and I, 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 I don't think you can go there, but mm. the one time I did, yeah. Proper, he was liking what was going on. Yeah, proper still, proper. And then. I need to go back. Last one, do you prefer city life or countryside life? City life. Okay, that's the end of the Penalt Rap. Thank you very much. By the way, what part of Nigeria is your parents from? Half Ibo, half Yoruba. Oh, is it? Who's oh. Ibo? My dad. Oh, so, okay. Oh, Ibo. yeah. You, yeah. So. Ibo men are very proud and, and strict. Yeah, Koli, so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's an Ibo name? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So what part of yeah, Nigeria see? is that, though? I can't wait. You know what's funny? You said to cut you off. Um, me, and my, me and my friend were always debi- like about your name, innit? Yeah. So we're just thinking it's a Yoruba name. What should I chat to him and say? Because yeah, I, I ain't so. seen that name yeah, in, the, in the in the Yoruba. So even when we, went, when we went Nigeria last year, no, we went twenty twenty two. So mm-hmm. when we went there, like it brought like. They were claiming like Lawrence, like yeah. we've got an Ibo champion. Yeah, because yeah. you know, like most Nigerians, yeah. it's Europe, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're like, yeah, we've got Ibo champion. Mm, you know what I mean? okay. so, yeah. Is he the first? I think I'm, right. I'm gonna have to say I believe so. Mm. Yeah, he might be. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to say I believe so. Still, yeah. So what states are they from? So he's so obviously my dad grew up in Lagos, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, um, Can you speak Yoruba as well? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, okay. but he's, 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 it's that it's that outside where Ibo pops. Like yeah. even learns like, inside Ibo, isn't it? Yeah, good, yeah, good. But yeah, everyone, everyone, everyone lived in Lagos. So. Mm. Yeah. I thought the producer was Ibo as well, but he's not. <laughs> he's got <going> it. <laughs> he definitely looks Ibo. Yeah, <laughs> Jebo looks Ibo. Hundred yeah. percent. So what was that question you wanted to ask him before we put around? Sorry. Oh, no, no. I was going to say just anything you wanted to say for, for the people at home. Uh, 
Boxing fans, man, stop giving people wins they ain't earned. Yeah, <laughs> they have to get in the ring and get that W. Because so, we're rob like we're robbing ourselves of good mm. fights. Yes, mm. you get me. By doing that, we're robbing ourselves of good fights, man. Trust mm. me. Yeah. Stop giving people wins. Like let them fight, man. Let the odd fight. Waxy and Aziz. Mm. Why not? Aziz not fighting for a world title. Yeah. Fight the winner and loser. Like, and I'm saying, Craig, fight Aziz. Mm. No, fight, fight. Uh, yeah, fight Aziz. Fight yard. Yeah, yeah. It's all good facts. Craig, Craig Smith. will be back real soon, so mm. watch out. Oh, yeah, he's with Shane, isn't it? That's yeah. a good move. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, very no, I've good seen Lawrence commented that on his um, social media as well. Well, mm. he Craig, said the same thing you said, yeah. Very said good move. Yeah. But I rate Craig. I think Craig's so cold. I don't know what he's missing. Mm. Nah, he's I there. think this, this is now. what he's missing. That was what he's missing. Yeah, yeah like, is there he's now. so cold. Mm. I, used to, I used to think Craig was like, yeah, but I was like, but then like that. Because even the Batsy fight, mm. just a little bit more, he wins. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't worry, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Look out for that. Don't worry, it's coming. All right, yeah, all right. let them know where they can find you as well. Um, all your uh, handles, your socials. You know, Instagram. You, you definitely, you, What's my Instagram? You're definitely unreachable. And you're, Henry something? Yeah, I've Henry. got it. My Insta, Henry Dave O underscore PB. Okay. Um, Yes, yeah, so I Oh, is it, is it is it Twitter or X now? What's I, Twitter? I'm, I'm gonna no, go with no. bases where Twitex. <laughs> Twitex. Yeah. Like base, 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 sharp base. Base the kid. Sharp oh. base the kid. Come on, <laughs> they got base the kid. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hey, yeah. What a guy, man. What a guy. <laughs> hey. All right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but there you go. It's another episode of the Neutral Corner. It's Danny Glover. It's Big Lex. And big up our sponsors, Treasure Boxing Club, each and every time. And also our drinks collaboration with Raga. And yes, we've been joined today by Henry Akoli. And remember, guys, persistence beats resistance. You know where it is. (laughs) Cold, cold.